This is Twit. Distressing news that has been uh, all the buzz the last few days is it has come to light that Verizon and, and I have verified both Verizon and AT&T, are inserting a persistent, unblockable tracking header into their customers' outbound traffic. Um, someone put up a site, uh, and I could not do it because it, this only works over non-SSL. So SSL, of course, or a VPN is the way to block this. Ah. And GR, GRC is is locked now to SSL because I've got you know I've got all of the browsers. Uh, knowing to only connect to grc.com securely, but it's that may less expi explain why. Because I did my Verizon iPhone and I tried, I went through that site and I didn't get an ID. It okay. said no ID, but maybe because I I don't know. Did you have Wi-Fi on? Yeah, probably. Ah, so so and I did too. So this morning it has at to be through Verizon, obviously. Yes, I and I have I this morning at breakfast I had both my iPhone and my iPad with me. And the iPad is still grandfathered in the original unlimited bandwidth AT&T plan. So it's the only reason I'm still over on AT&T. Although, actually, now with Verizon being increasingly egregious, um, I'm, you know, I'm there. I'm, I'm there, too, on my iPhone. So anyway, the site is lessonslearned.org slash sniff. L-E-S-S-O-N-S-L-E-A-R-N-E-D dot org slash s n i f f and i'm not sure how long the page is going to be there the the guy who put it up said you know this may only be here for a few days but neither device showed the so-called uh u i d h um uh header when i then turned wi-fi off so that both were going through the the cellular carrier both showed this UIDH, I'm looking at mine, MZC5, NJG5, MTI, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's a long base 64 encoded binary blob. Now, the way this works is interesting. The um, We have anecdotal reports that it changes weekly, but it's definitely sticky across multiple days because many people have said, oh, yeah, I checked yesterday and the day before and today, and it's always the same. So at some point, it changes. But the idea is that every single query that is passing from your device out through the carrier, Verizon and AT&T are both doing this, has be which is not secured, that is, which is in the clear. So non-HTTPS non browsing, where, where the, the, the transaction is not encrypted, gets this header added to it, courtesy of the ISP. So every recipient of a query by your device, which means the site you're visiting... But also remember all of the other resources that that page causes your browser to fetch from, like, advertisers. They all receive this cookie, this thing that is, that is persistent. I mean, like, very sticky. It isn't itself immediately useful to them. They get this. Pay Verizon for information about you oh no by, by giving Verizon this token which has which has sticky but sort of semi persistent meaning oh no Ver, Ver, Verizon looks it up and then returns information about you in return for money so this is Verizon monetizing what they know about you which of course is everything you're the account holder um, and so advertisers are able to exchange, you know, or exchange money for information. So Verizon is directly monetizing their relationship with you via this identifying tag. Now, it also is a tracking tag. I mean, it, it turns out there's 
part of this you can opt out of. Apparently, you you can go to Verizon, log in there. There's some way to turn off their monetization, which is on by default, but that doesn't turn off the tag. So you're still tagged, and if nothing else, this is a way, for example, of bridging across cleaning of your cookies or, you know, like if you delete your cookies, then, but this tag is undeletable because it's not coming from your browser. It's inserted into the traffic as it leaves the Verizon ISP out onto the broader internet. So, so if somebody had given you a cookie and, and associate it with this tag, and then you deleted your cookies in order to shake these people off, well, they'd see the same tag they had and be able to reassociate you with a new cookie. So, you know, it's it's annoying and there's no way to turn it off. There's You're able to opt in to some additional program, which is even worse, or opt out of the monetization, which is which by default you're opted into unless you turn it off. But otherwise, this is, you know, Verizon deciding we're going to monetize our customers. And um, and both both my iPad, which is on AT&T, and my iPhone, which is on Verizon, are both doing this. And this site uh, very conveniently lets you see this. LessonsLearned.org slash sniff. Verizon announced uh, they were going to do this three years ago. Here's a CNN article. Quoting the CTO for Verizon, he say, it says, David Small raised the point, 4G will allow users to do even more with their cell phones and other wireless <laughs> devices, which means carriers will be gathering more consumer data than ever before via their networks. Quote, all that data about all the facets of users' lives, that's got value, Small said. Mm -hmm. And that's a revenue opportunity for us. They don't even hire it, hide it. They call it Precision ID, by the way. That's their yeah. their their name for so this. So this was how yes. they plan to monetize 4G and LTE. And this has been going on for a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, it just isn't, you know, it's, it hasn't really come to everyone's attention before. Uh, and I think now post Snowden and, you know, everyone's way more sensitized to this than we were, you know, a couple of years ago. So... Anyway, uh, this is a simple way to, to see that it is happening. Apparently, there, there have been people who have reported that they're not seeing it. It could be that they've got Wi-Fi on and they're using their local Wi-Fi. You know, the, our, our phones and pads and mobile devices will preferentially use that traffic rather than the, the cellular traffic if, if it has a choice. So I did have to turn mine off in order to see this. And when I did, I, I saw my, my long, wacky cookie. You know, so it's like, okay, well, I mean, at least we know. At, at the least same conference, the Sprint guy said, there's a fine line between monetization and consumer trust. So Sprint showed some sensitivity. But I do wonder if Verizon, I doubt they're the only one doing this. No, we know that AT&T is. Oh, they are. I've, okay. I've seen my cookie also. So it's not like you can flee, flee Verizon and it will all be okay. Correct. And and reports are that T-Mobile is not currently doing it, but I strength, I, I stress the word currently because, you know, Verizon and AT&T, if nothing else, have paved the way. So, Well, you know, but T-Mobile, if they're smart, you know, their whole thing, because they're number four, they try harder, <laughs> is to provide <laughs> right. an alternative to the big guys. And if they're smart, they'll say, we don't do it, we'll never do it, you can trust us, something like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah.